Hello friends. I am back with an update. It's been a few days. I didn't mean to scare everyone and then disappear for a few days, but um, I needed a break. I was still on social media, but I, uh, I was a little bit different. I did step back a bit. It was getting a bit overwhelming and um, it's just draining. Um, and I have, absolutely have to take care of my brain right now. So, yeah, so I stepped back a bit. Um, but I am back. It's day 10, 11. I think it's day 11 of quarantine. I think. I don't know. I don't know what date is. I don't know what the date is. I don't know what the month is, but I do know it's still 2020. Longest, longest year ever. Um, but anyway, so I did want to give you an update. Uh, so last I spoke to you all, um, I let you know that my, uh, well, last I spoke to you on Facebook, I've got these all over. I've got them on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. It's a little bit everywhere. Um, sorry, they're scattered if everyone's trying to keep up. Um, but last I talked to you, I let you all know that my youngest nephew um, was diagnosed with the virus. Um, he has since been feeling fine. He seems to have recovered fine. Um, we thought that their quarantine would be up uh, this last Friday, um, turns out because of how they calculate things, <laughs> it's not entirely correct. So I guess how they calculate things, it's based on, um, so when they stop showing symptoms and then three days after that is essentially it's what the Department of Health in New Mexico has told us. So don't take anything else from this, but, um, just that's what they told us. So stop showing symptoms three days later, and then you count two weeks from that point um, for your quarantine of potentially seeing anyone else in that immediate realm, in that family realm of showing symptoms. So they are on an additional two week quarantine um, starting this last Friday. So <laughs> um, not that we wouldn't be social distancing anyways, but uh, being in a house of like 10 right now, <laughs> we need groceries and stuff, but um, I think we've been doing okay. Uh, when my mom came in from out of town, she had stopped before she came and got some groceries. And then um, my sister has some, uh, her in-laws here has also been helping get pick up stuff. So I appreciate the offers for those of you that have offered. I think we'll actually be okay for a little while. <laughs> got a lot of food. Um, are getting a little stir crazy, I think. Uh, I try to go for walks when I can, but I do kind of freak out when I see other humans. I don't know. I'm just getting really even more reclusive than I think I normally would be. Um, so that's a weird thing. Uh, but anyways, so I did want to let you guys up to, uh, update you guys on that situation. Um, and I... For most of you that do know, what I do is travel related. I uh, am a travel writer, travel photographer. So of course, um, the industry itself has kind of gone downhill a lot, obviously. Um, and with that, the livelihood of a lot of us <laughs> that work in the industry. Um, so, you know, we're all trying to, I think, make ends meet, and I think it's difficult for everyone regardless. Um, but I do kind of wanted to know, like, where everyone is at in regards to the content that I'm producing. Um, does everyone want to see travel-related content still? Uh, obviously, I'm a huge advocate in promoting the whole stay-at-home um, uh scenario like I, I'm staying at home I'm not traveling right now I won't be traveling for a while obviously um, however I do have quite a bit of travel content um, 
that is like backlogged from you know this last year and those last months and stuff from before I stopped traveling so is that something that everyone would still want to see or would be interested in um I do kind of want to take a poll because I, I'm not sure if it you know is even relevant um I know for a lot of different uh travel writers and travel bloggers and stuff we've gone back and forth a lot with what is relevant, what is the correct path, what is the right thing to do. And I think it's really case by case situation. So I think for a lot of us, our demographic is a little bit different. It varies a little bit. So um, some people want to read that. Some people want to have something that's like, okay, they want to look forward to it. They want to, you know, read about all these places so that, you know, when this all ends, they do have, you know, resources that they can read for you know, things to plan afterwards. Some people don't want that. Some people feel like that's weird. Some people feel it's uncomfortable. Some people are not really sure how to, I guess, uh, approach that. So I, I'm i still not sure really how I feel about it all. I obviously have addressed a lot of other things along with my travel blog, being that like mental health is a big thing that I have been addressing and will continue to address. That's not going to stop. Um, but I don't know if that's something that for all of you, if you wish you think, I guess just, just leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll probably do a couple different polls in a couple different ways to kind of get an idea because I really want to be able to give you guys the content that you want. Um, as well if it would help if it's something to you know read and look forward to i'm happy to do that as well um so yeah let me know leave a comment for that uh, and tell me what you think other than that uh yeah i feel like i keep saying I, I'm, I'm i'm staying busy i'm not really sure what that even means right now because i don't feel like i'm working working like i normally would be working but i am exhausted but then again it's a global pandemic so things are kind of traumatic for a lot of people. Um, yeah, so I guess it is what it is right now. I'm trying to stay busy. I'm trying to stay sort of focused. I've been making things, I guess, <laughs> like arts and crafts. <laughs> it's It helps. I mean, it's it keeps my mind off of... Uh, off of the situation it keeps you know keeps me a little bit busy so I'm not overthinking things which can can be dangerous for those of you that do deal with mental health issues so uh yeah but that's pretty much it so that's where I'm at on day 11 of quarantine uh, again leave me a comment and let me know if you want to continue seeing travel related content or if you feel like the timing's weird for that and I should Put that on the back burner. Um, I really do want to know you, uh, your opinion on all of this stuff. So, um, like I said, leave me a comment, and I will try to do better at these videos. Yeah, we'll see. I can't promise anything. Um, but all right, I will talk to you guys later.